I've already shuffled in. We'll be taking a look at the recent past. We'll talk about the present. We'll go over the challenge, and then we'll see what the outcome is going to be. So, Scorpio, in the recent past, we've got the Ace of Pentacles as with the Two of Wands. Now, the Ace of Pentacles, you probably found that you were enjoying a new beginning on several levels. And this would have been very positive. You are likely to be feeling optimistic, upbeat, and more hopeful about the future than you had been feeling in a while. Things were probably going really well, and you could have been starting something new, or there was something new that you um, tried. This could be this could have been in the area of work, or it could have been personally. But either way, it would have been a really good thing. Now, the Ace of Pentacles is with the Two of Wands. Two of Wands, it's important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. It indicates a partnership with another person. This can be business or it could be personal. Uh, the Two of Wands reminds us to stay mindful of the give and take that's required for all successful relationships. If things were feeling out of balance for you at that time, just know that things were about to get better, much better. So... You would have needed to keep your eyes on the prize that you were looking for and stay positive. So basically, the recent past Ace of Pentacles, Two of Wands, you probably had a decision to make with the Two of Wands. Maybe you had two options towards a future, but you needed to make a decision, and you knew if you chose the right decision, that it would take you to some great new beginning. It would, have, it would have felt like a fresh new start. But you had to make the right choice. Or you had to see some type of opportunity, maybe. And it, if you made the right choice, it would, have, it would have been beautiful with this Ace of Pentacles here. Now, the present time, we got the World card and the Three of Wands. The world card is about completion. You worked hard. You're almost to the finish line in some way. So don't quit now because you're really close. You probably feel like you need some rest, maybe some relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it because you're getting closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now, when it comes to work, it's a good chance that you could be working really hard for far too little recognition, far too little money. So... It's important if this is the case, toot your own horn, blow your own horn a little, just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. The world card is with the three of wands. The three of wands. You're likely to find that your finances, they're picking up, or they're much better than they were. In fact, this could be the time when you feel like your ship has finally come in. You're likely, likely to be feeling really strong with a good reason. You could be finally experiencing some important success after you've been through some difficulty. Now, the Three of Wands are refers to work in a positive way, very positive, extremely positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it means that your efforts are seen, appreciated, and are well respected. So... For the present time, coming up towards the end of July, Three of Wands and the World card, it looks like you're closing out a chapter. And it feels darn good with the Three of Wands showing up here. Now you can look ahead. There's expansion. There's growth. You may even have teamwork. Or you may even go into teamwork with someone. So this closing out a cycle, ending a journey... It's taking you to, to a lot of growth here. And it feels really good. Because now, you, you, now your eyes are wide open. You can see clearly. You're looking ahead towards the future. And it, it feels great. Like your ship has finally arrived. And it's all because you closed out a cycle. You ended a journey. You closed a chapter in that book. So this is good. You, it's about completion. You completed a chapter. You closed the door. You, you ended that cycle. And now everything is 
Everything is it's on now. Yeah, you're about to live your best life. <laughs> That's what the Three of Wands is about. You can finally see now. Your eyes are wide open. Now, let's take a look at the challenge. We got the Page of Swords and the Ace of Wands. The Page of Swords, it can stand for a person that's coming towards you. Um, in this case, because it's a page, when you hear the word page in the tarot, that's a student, youth, immaturity, someone younger than you. What they have to say or whatever message they send you, it may not be what you're hoping to hear. It tells us that someone could be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or make you feel like this person is stepping on your toes. So you might have to study a body language. Study their body language and see or just know how well you accept criticism from others. So this page of swords is also someone that might keep tabs on you. They might stalk you, do a lot of watching you. Just, uh, it's an immature type. So yeah, that would be a challenge, wouldn't it? Dealing with someone like that. Now, you have the Ace of Wands with this Page of Swords. Ace of Wands is about another new beginning here. Looks like you had one in the recent past. Now you got this Ace of Wands. If you're having a difficult time now, things are like, they get much better very soon with the Ace of Wands. This card is about being upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future. And you'll be feeling energetic, positive. Or... If you're not feeling that way now, you will be feeling that way soon. Ace, this card, it tells you that now is a good time to start something new. A new love relationship. It's coming in with the Ace of Wands. So, this Page of Swords and this Ace of Wands, it looks like someone's coming towards you. Or you know someone, or you're dealing with someone. It looks like they bring conflict. Yeah, they bring conflict and whatever they have to say to you is not really what you're hoping to hear. And this is a this is causing you to really go for your new beginning. Or it could be that this person has a lot of passion for you. Which I'm picking up is more of this. It's more of this. It's more that this person that's coming towards you, they have a lot of passion for you. This person wants a new beginning with you. But they, they're kind of immature, though. Uh, maybe they have something else to offer. But the things they do, you might not really appreciate. Hopefully they have something else to offer. Hopefully. But this person... With the Ace of Wands here, they have a whole lot of passion for you. And if it's not a love interest, just keep in mind, it could be a friend or a family member that's coming towards you like this. That have strong feelings for you. So it's going to be a challenge because, because the way they come up, the way they approach you, it could seem like it's conf... Um, it could seem like they're bringing conflict, but underneath it all, they they really like you. They could want a new beginning with you. So, let's take a look at the outcome. Now, we got the Emperor and the Seven of Pentacles. The Emperor, it's about domination over the mind, over the heart, and it's sometimes necessary, even though it's not wanted. In fact, you should welcome this, and that's what you must think when this card appears. Because when hard choices have to be made, it's important to maintain your focus, your concentration. The Emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is the time you'll find it easier to make hard choices. So enjoy the assertiveness and confidence that the self-control and focus bring. Forge your hand, do what you know is best. Because if you can master yourself, then you should have very little problem, problems mastering other obstacles that life can throw at you. 
So I know what you're asking me. What did I just say? What does that mean? Well, it means that you're dealing with someone that has a hard time opening up their heart or showing emotions. Uh, this emperor, they do not want to come across as being vulnerable. They could be a leader, a boss, really arrogant type. Uh, yeah, so they don't, they don't want you to know how they feel about you. <laughs> they like to keep it to themselves. Um, the emperor would rather have you die wanting to know how they feel about you instead of just opening up to you. So that should have been on your challenge also if you're dealing with someone like this. Or this could be the page of swords that you're dealing with. Yeah, I'm picking up it's this page of swords. Or it could be so someone else. It could be a second person coming towards you. Now, this person is with the Seven of Pentacles. This emperor, the Seven of Pentacles is about returns on investments. It can be literal, such as a bank account returning money to you, or figuratively, such as investments of time and effort and energy that you put into a relationship. It's about reaping what you have sown. This is a positive thing. You'll be feeling more secure than you have in a while. Things are moving along, and you'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a great cause. You might have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you're already involved with. So basically, the picture of the Seven of Pentacles, it says it all. I mean, I, I should have just told you, just take a look at the picture. And it would explain the Seven of Pentacles. See how, you see how this lady, she's watering a plant? The plant was probably just a baby when she got it. Now it's about eight feet tall. The leaves are dark green. Looks really rich and healthy. She probably gets up morning to take care of it and then before she goes to bed she takes care of it. So she's uh, reaping what she has sown. The benefits are paying off. The plan is growing. She's spending time, effort, and energy. And the rewards are great. Great, yeah. Um, so this emperor that's that you know or that's coming towards you could be this page of swords or it could be a second person. You're going to have a hard time reading this person when it comes to matters of the heart. Like I said, they'd rather have you die wanting to know how they feel about you. But I can tell you this much, this person wants to grow with you. They want to make, make the connection work. They want they want to put in effort and energy. But you probably, it was probably going to take a while to figure out that they have deep interest in you and they got a lot of passion for you. If it's this page of swords and they might do silly stuff, but this person, they have emotions for you. You're not going to be able to see it. They want the connection to work. This could be someone you're dealing with, or maybe someone you're coming, so maybe someone coming towards you. Could be the, like I said, could be the Page of Swords, or it could be two different people. So, this is good because it looks like you closed out a chapter, and now you got some love interest here. So, you're your eyes are wide open so you'll be able to pick and choose at this time you won't just be you'll be seeing everything for what it is more than likely because you're no longer wearing um you know you no longer have something on your back you're free and your your energy is open so that's probably why you got um a couple of different people here, or maybe, like I said, maybe one person. Um, and if it's two, they it looks like. Uh, let's see, if it's two, well, the first one, Page of Swords, they got passion for you, a lot of passion. And if it's this emperor, they want, really wanted to work. 
They'll be putting in a lot of energy and effort into you. So, Scorpio, that's what I have for you for the end of July. I hope this resonates, as you know. General readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Scorpio, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys are taking good care of yourself, staying strong during these crazy times. Please come back and check out the next Scorpio reading just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. I hope you have a great day. And I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. And I hope to see you at the next reading. Take care.